Question number three. Hazim sells X banana cakes. So X banana cakes, Y orange cakes and Z chocolate cakes. Cost of making banana cake is four ringgit. Orange cake is six. Chocolate cake is ten. He produced 250 cakes in a certain month with a cost of 1550. Total price of banana cake is 10. Total price of uh, orange cake is 15 and so many info here. Find the number of find the number of each cakes produced if the total sales for that month is 43450. Four, okay. Let's do one by one. We know that X represents banana cake, Y represents orange cake, and the Z represents chocolate cake. So the first one they say the cost of making banana cake is four, four ringgit, and then six ringgit for orange, and also ten ringgit for chocolate. So this is the cost. So that means we know that four. Okay, wait. Uh, this one is still not and nothing. We can't form an equation yet. They said he produced 250 cakes. So 250 cakes. So that means if I add up all of them, X plus Y plus Z is equals to 250. Okay, this one you can form an equation. In a certain month, the cost is 1550. Okay, so now they gave you this. You can use the, the second sentence just now. So the cost is 4X plus 6 ringgit uh, for orange, right? So 6Y plus... 10z will be equivalent to 1550. Okay, this is the second equation. The third one will be let's see, the sales price is 10, 15, 20. Hmm, the number of cakes produced if the total sales okay, so total sales they give you is 3450. So you know we can use the 10x plus 15y plus 20z equals to uh, 3450 yeah so we got these three equation here so of course you can simplify it lah but i think personally i don't think it's necessary lah okay so i'm not gonna do it but anyway so what we can do if we want to use elimination we can eliminate x i think it's easier to eliminate x so what we do is I first one I go so this is the first equation, second equation, third equation. I think what we can do is we can take the second equation minus the first equation times four, right? So four of the first equation. So we can get four x plus six y plus ten z equals one five five o. Then you want to minus. 4x plus 4y plus 4z equals to 4 times 250 is 1000. So here you can eliminate. So you get 10y plus 4. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to minus and not plus. So you get 2y plus 6z equals to 550. Okay, so this one uh, you can divide. A whole thing divided by 2, you get y plus 3z equals to uh, 275. So this is your equation 4. Okay, what what else we can use to combine? I think we can do um, third equation and the first equation. Okay, third equation and first. So we can do third equation minus 10 times of the first equation. Okay, of course, uh, guys, if you simplify the equation, because all this can simplify, you can divide by 2, and then this one also can simplify, divide by 5, you can do that. Okay, so it doesn't have to be so big, lah. but I'm not going to do that, because I feel like it's just extra steps. Lah. So anyway, 10x plus 15y, oops, plus 20 20z equals to 3, 4, 5, 0. And then I'm going to minus 10 times of the first equation. So 10x plus 10y plus 10z. 
equals 2500 so here I can eliminate okay because I'm going to minus the whole thing and then here I get 5y plus 10 z equals to um, 1 no sorry I should get 950 yeah so this whole thing can also divide by 5 so I'm going to get y plus 2z equals to 190 so this is my fifth equation okay so now I got this and I've got this so now we can um, what can we do we can actually el eliminate the y by using uh, equation 4 and 5 so I'm going to take equation 4 minus equation 5 so I get y plus 3z equals 275 minus y plus 2z equals 190 so here you can eliminate here you get z is equals to so 75 minus um this once 275 minus 190 so i get 75 plus 85 so you already found z right so we just substitute into one of the equation i'm going to use this so y plus 2z is 85 equals to 190 so from here we know that y is equals to 190 minus 85 times 2 is 170 so here i get 20 okay so now we want to find x so x we can use back the first equation just now x plus y plus z equals 250 so x plus y plus z equals 250 we have already found y so that means we can minus 20 minus 85 equals to x so x value should be 145 okay now like i said my numbers here are very much bigger because i didn't simplify my original equation uh, if you want to simplify you can but for me i prefer doing like this lah okay like that's it